Hey everyone, it's me, Tiger 72 here, and in today's video, I have something very, very exciting to tell you guys, because Entertainment Software Associations, or for short, ESA, has confirmed that E3 will be returning this year for summer 2021. You heard it, E3 will finally come back after last year's cancellations due to the whole pandemic, and also the whole, like, COVID thing, and it was a very hard time last year with this whole pandemic, with all the games pretty much getting a lot of delays and sometimes cancellations and barely got any updates. It was very hard for developers to like make the games when they're at their houses and it was hard for us gamers to pretty much Past the time with this whole pandemic, like play games and all. But this year might be returning. We'll be seeing E3 once again and in Nintendo Everything's um, website, it does explain the details of what's going to be happening at E3. So with all that out of the way, let's not waste time. Let's get straight into it. So the first thing I want to talk about for E3 is that they did confirm that they'll only be doing this digitally. It is understandable because, I mean, this year, I mean, this year, it's still, like, the whole pandemic is still going. So it's understandable that they're going to be going digital this year. And, but it does say here that, but it still requires the backing of major game companies. Although the physical events has not been yet canceled, it's understood that the digital show is now the focus for E3 2021 due to ongoing restrictions around the COVID pandemic. And here's what they're going to be happen what's going to be happening at E3 due to the following list here. So the dates will be starting from June 15th to June 17th, multiple 2-hour keynotes, sessions from game partners, an award show at, at June 14th preview night, and other smaller streams from game publishers, influencers, and media partners. Media previews will be released the week before, and demos released on consumer platforms, unclear if this would include the Nintendo Switch. Typical show day would, would see its live broadcast run, from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern Time, or depending on your time zone, either I think it's 7 a.m. or 7 p.m. Eastern Pacific Time. I have no idea. Regional replay schedule around Europe, China, and the Middle East. Um, let's see, what else? Example schedule kicks up with a 30-minute pre-show run by a media partner, followed by a two-hour exclusive press conference by a po console platform holder, followed by a Q&A and, and panel reaction. Next up, it says the rest of the day would be comprised of third party publishers' presentations of different length. Day, day ends with a wrap up and a teaser for the next day. ESA Notes also mentions a charitable after party stream. At least one major game company still plans to hold its own separate digital showcase and set up showing, a, showing the six figure sums needed to join the E3 schedule. So, this is what's going to be happening for this year E3. And it does say that it's unknown whether or not the Nintendo Switch would be included and I did check the website to make sure and it looks like we're not entirely sure if Nintendo will be coming back to E3 this year. Now, I think that like, a, like a few years ago, back in 2018 and 19, Sony didn't really have went to E3. Instead, it had its own state of play presentations. I cannot recall, but we all know that PlayStation or Sony didn't appear. But I think that's kind of I think it's kind of obvious if Nintendo might come this year. And I'm gonna be fair, guys. I don't care if E3 is either physical or digital because as long as E3 comes back, I'm fine with it. All I cared about about it is either the game announcements, what they have in store for us, because last year was a horrible year, and we might at least have something better this year. I did predict maybe before 2021 was started, I did say that we all hope that 2021 would be the best year for gamers, Nintendo, um, PlayStation, and also Xbox, but we'll just have to wait and see. Not only that, it does it also it does confirm here that Geob Keighley stated that he that Summer Game Fest will be starting and returning for this year, so I guess that's something to be excited about as well. Now before I end up this video, this is what the ESA has stated. We can confirm that we are transforming the E3 experience for 2021 and Sue will share exact details on how we're bringing the global video game community together. We are having great conversations with publishers, developers, and companies across the board and we look forward to sharing details about their involvement soon. 
And also, well, that's pretty much about it, guys. But let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. If you are guys, if you guys are excited for E3 this year, whether it's either digital or physical, uh, it doesn't matter. E3 is coming back. And what do you think? What kind of games do you think they might get announced? And do you think Nintendo might be involved this year? Who knows? My prediction is that they might. And let's see what kind of games they have in store for us. So with all that out of the way, leave a like. Comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell for more videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Remember this, once a legend, always a legend. Like a bell cut.